I bid you welcome in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to our Friday update for Emmanuel Lutheran Church. We do bid you welcome in Jesus' name, and we're very grateful for you viewing this little update because we want to just bring you a few announcements. On this Friday, Governor Holcomb is going to talk a little bit about loosening some of the restrictions because of the COVID-19 virus, but we think that he won't relax them enough for us to open church on Sunday. So we're planning on having our sermon online, so please just come online and go to emmanuelnh.org and be sure to watch this Sunday's meditation. Also, we want to make sure that we're all, we're all eagerly awaiting the day when uh, we can come to church, and we hope and pray that it's a lot sooner than later. Also, uh, be sure to take advantage of opportunities to watch Worship Anew on television. That's also available online under www.worshipanew.org. Also, uh, be sure to uh, use the portals of prayer. I just happen to have a copy right here and uh, encourage you to use your portals of prayer. If you don't have a current one, you can still use those older ones. They work very well. And if you want a current one, just stop by the church office. We have plenty to share. We also want to thank you for your prayers for our church and for the work of the Lord here in this place. Many things continue to happen here at Emmanuel, and we're very grateful for the many people who give of their time and talents in service to the Lord and in service to God's people. We also want to thank you for your continued financial support here at Emmanuel. Uh, many of you are mailing in contributions. Some are stopping by. Also, we're having more and more people use bill pay or also uh, using other forms of electronic payment like push pay. Uh, we encourage you to continue to support our church financially because we still have responsibilities in that area as well. Also, we want to remind you, those who don't, do not have the internet, please let us know if you know somebody like that so that we can give them a call, let them know that their church is thinking about them and that we care for them. Now I'd like to conclude with uh, a couple of prayers. I've become aware in my pastoral ministry uh, that this uh, isolation is starting to get to some people. And I have just three prayers, very short ones, from this current portals of, portals of prayer. And I just want to share them with you. So please let us pray. This is for one with a troubled heart. I am troubled, Lord. At times I can think of nothing but what troubles me. I know that I am a sinner and do not deserve your blessings, but you, O oh Lord, are merciful and gracious. You have given your Son that I might have forgiveness and hope. I pray that you would remove this anxiety from my heart. I trust in you. You alone are my God, my Savior, and my friend. In Jesus' name, amen. And then a prayer for the peace of Christ. Heavenly Father, you have instructed us to be anxious for nothing, yet we are so often anxious about everything. As we turn to you in prayer, we ask that you would hear our requests about things that have kept us from your peace. Help us to keep our minds on Christ, trusting him in all things, so that we may know his perfect peace, even in the most difficult trials of life. In Jesus' name, amen. And finally, a prayer for contentment. Heavenly Father, we are bombarded by advertisements that tempt us to feel dissatisfied, disadvantaged, and lacking in things necessary for life. Teach us to find contentment that can only be found in you, that the blessings you give truly satisfy. Instill in us the understanding that the things of this world will pass away, but the blessings you give in Christ will endure forever. In his name we pray. Amen. And now I leave you with the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. Amen. <laughs>